Hello everybody! Welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jing Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm a certified dementia practitioner. If you are new to me, my channel, please consider visiting uh, the video tab where you can see all the videos that I have made. I also have playlists uh, for physical therapy and how to become physical therapy here in the U.S., how to become an on-call or PR and physical therapist, health videos such as this one. Uh, and other videos like PT documentation. So we have so many things going on here at Just Upright. So I hope that you will consider subscribing and sharing this channel to your sphere of influence. So today I'm, I'm making this video because this video is, uh, this topic is close to my heart. I had a patient who had a stroke, not just one, not just two, but three consecutive strokes before they found out the problem and uh, in my personal and prof professional opinion had this um, assessment been done initially uh, that patient could have been saved from the second and third strokes okay and uh, you know that stroke is very debilitating uh, you know it depends what part of your brain is affected uh, mostly people present with you know half of the body weakness uh, sometimes it's the whole side is weak sometimes it's just the left arm or the left hand or you know and vice versa it depends what part of your brain or what artery of your brain uh, has been affected or have been affected by uh, the stroke okay so I hope that you find this uh, video valuable and share this with your loved ones friends you know anyone you know who will benefit from this because um, this is a very easy assessment that you can suggest to your doctor to be done on a regular basis that may save you from the devastating effects of stroke okay so let's dive in so as you can see in this picture uh, these is uh, these are the arteries that goes to your brain and this particular one this is what we call the carotid artery okay so this your carotid artery has external carotid and it has internal carotid artery and the internal carotid artery is the one that goes to your brain and supplies your brain majority of the um, supply of the brain the front part and the middle part of the brain coming from the internal carotid artery so here you can see the normal carotid artery clear you know there's no roadblocks so to speak here here this is what we call atherosclerosis or the plaque formation inside the artery okay so if you have like hypertension and hyperlipidemia diabetes those are all risk factors increases the risk factor for having stroke and among other factors so here as you can see if there if the part of the plaque is dislodged you know it travels and it goes to the brain and that's what we call the ischemic uh, stroke one form of ischemic stroke okay and because the arteries of the brain are smaller compared to the arteries of you know your legs or arms uh, they are predisposed to being lodged in there and that can cause uh, decreased blood supply to no blood supply to the brain that can cause damage and that can result to stroke okay so another important thing to consider is that if this uh, artery the carotid artery is totally blocked okay uh, if it is um, the atherosclerosis or plaque formation uh, was undetected and it can be totally blocked so the rest of the brain that it supplies can be totally damaged and that is a massive kind of stroke okay let's follow here this is your common carotid artery it has the external carotid this is the internal carotid and as you can see here there is what we call the anterior cerebral artery and we have the middle cerebral artery okay so the middle cerebral artery supplies massively the uh, part of the, uh, the upper extremity motor cortex okay 
and then the uh, anterior cerebral artery supplies the lower extremity motor cortex or what we call those are the maps in the brain uh, that uh, controls okay so if your arms are more affected than your legs then it's the middle cerebral artery that has been affected if your leg is more affected than your arms and then it's the anterior cerebral artery that is affected so in cases both upper and lower uh, extremities or arm and legs are affected so both the middle and anterior cerebral arteries are affected okay so it can be the internal carotid artery is uh, block or um, has a massive atherosclerosis within it okay so what are the ways that you can uh, work with your doctor to find out that if you're having like um, clog coronary uh, sorry clogged carotid arteries okay so there is what we call um, auscultation or this the doctor will listen to the um, your carotid artery so basically the stethoscope he will place it here on top of the carotid artery and listen for bruits so what what is bruits okay so according to this article this is a good article to read Okay, about carot carotid bruit. Uh, a carotid bruit is a vascular sound usually heard with a stethoscope over the carotid artery because of turbulent non-laminar blood flow through a stenotic artery. So it simply means, guys, that the artery is clogged. Okay, it, that is what we call stenotic. It is clogged, so that's why it's producing a turbulent sound so that is carotid bruit so simply asking your doctor if you you know you're an older adult or you have what we call comorbidities or different diseases that might increase your risk uh, for having a stroke like if you have like i said before diabetes high cholesterol you're a smoker okay uh, and you have other conditions like a heart condition um, and hyperlipidemia and things like that uh, it is uh, always best to be proactive and ask your doctor hey doc can you listen if i have like bruits here in my neck uh, because i don't want to have a stroke okay. it is best for you to be knowledgeable and uh, protect yourself for possible uh, massive stroke just by simply asking your doctor so um, you know when they hear the brew, brew it here it's not definitive that you all really have a, you know a positive um, risk of having the stroke right away uh, your doctor uh, based on your condition based on your health uh, based on your the physical other physical examination findings and history they they will order or may order additional tests if they hear the carotid bruit in your um, neck okay so some of the tests can be an ultrasound some of the tests can be an MRA uh, so the carotid bruit alone is not specific or sensitive uh, so but that is just like a good warning sign that uh, additional tests might be done that might save you from a massive stroke so this is a good thing uh, to know and uh, for you to be aware as a person uh, especially if you have history in your family with stroke uh, if you had stroke before you are at risk for having another stroke um, and one thing that I usually uh, observe among patients uh, who had a stroke for especially the first time are those people who actually had high blood pressure whether they know it or not. One case and is people they didn't know because they don't have a routine uh, examination with their doctor. They didn't know they were high, they are having high blood pressure and high blood pressure increases the risk of having a stroke if it is uncontrolled. So they ended up with a stroke and that's what, how they know that they have hypertension or high blood pressure. Some people were diagnosed with high blood pressure, but they were not compliant. They're not taking their medication and that put them at higher risk for having a stroke. And after they had a stroke, then they, you know, they 
uh, put two and two together that oh because they were not taking their high blood pressure medication they ended up with a stroke okay so um, I always educate my patient that if you have high blood pressure you have to be compliant with your medication okay you have to take your medicine as prescribed by your doctor but also uh, aerobic exercises like walking regularly or if you want swimming if you want rowing if you want biking any aerobic activities actually have been proven over and over again by research studies and there are thousands of them out there you can google it if you want you can go to google scholar and it will show you the benefits of aerobic exercise in decreasing the blood pressure so some people who are good with their uh, good on choosing the food they eat and doing regular aerobic exercise can actually have a communication with their doctor the doctor will of course do the test to see if they still need uh, the blood pressure medication if you are not in the higher level of being hypertensive sometimes you know uh, some patients can do without the blood pressure medication but again this is depending on how your body uh, is working how your doctor is following you whether you're uh, following the you know the good choice of food and being active at the same time so you have to be proactive uh, especially here in the u.s uh, people are being encouraged to be their own personal advocate and uh, you know you are the director of your own health care so you have the right to voice out what concerns you and uh, to, to know the things that can prevent like uh, any debilitating condition like an acid stroke so I hope this is helpful for you guys if you have any other videos that you want me uh, to do uh, healthcare wise you know for your health uh, that I am you know um, knowledgeable about or I can share with you my experience with my patients um, I would gladly uh, make another video uh, uh, my goal is to bring awareness to people uh, to prevent the debilitating uh, effects of different conditions that I'm dealing with on a daily basis. A stroke is not a joke. It can take away your independence. You know, again, it depends what part of your brain is affected. You know, sometimes the speech is more affected than the paralysis or weakness of the body. Sometimes it's the weakness of the entire body. Sometimes it's inability to walk on a straight path, you know. So uh, we don't want anybody to end up with a massive stroke if we can prevent it okay so thank you so much for watching please check sure. out our website justuprighttherapy.com and you can see what we do in just upright therapy services here in st louis missouri we help age uh, people age 50 plus in st louis to stay active mobile and avoid falls so that they can live independently at home and continue to take care of loved ones these are the services we provide i have useful videos here linked to the youtube channel these are contact information and we have a store there and you can find the books that I have published uh, available on Amazon.com and I have uh, tried and tested products here we use as a family uh, for kids, uh, for adults and for older adults the equipments that I usually recommend for my patients based on their needs so check that one out thank you thank you so much for watching Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below to be updated with the latest video releases. Share this channel to other people you know who will benefit from Just Upright videos. Thank you again and stay blessed!